this is the strongest earthquake to hit California's north coast in more than 50 years. With the collapse of a highway overpass seven miles south of Eureka, the only major resulting damage. The tremor hit around 2.30 this morning, just when a Eureka family of five was crossing the downed bridge. The vehicle dropped into the rubble, three of the five critically injured. Minutes later, a pickup truck went into the pit, just missing the other car. Its only passenger walked away unharmed. These are the only injuries reported in the quake. The greatest initial concern focused on Pacific Gas and Electric Company's nuclear power plant, three miles south of Eureka, which has been in cold shutdown since 1976. There's no visual uh, indication of damage anywhere in the plant uh, on our fossil units or on unit one and two. There's just no, no significant damage occurred and everything looks very good. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission is expected to arrive tomorrow for follow-up inspections of the plant. The three giant pulp mills on the bay off Eureka received only moderate damage, but the Northwestern Pacific Railroad's only northern tracks are blocked by the fallen highway overpass, and because of that, the timber industry stands to take some losses. It could be 10 days before the tracks are clear. Other damage caused by the quake is minimal compared to that of the overpass. Local radio stations kept the small coastal community informed during the early morning hours after the tremor, putting to rest speculation of a possible tidal wave. As sightseers gathered this morning to catch a glimpse of the collapsed overpass, one thought was universal, that Mother Nature's power is awesome. But in this instance, Lady Luck played the biggest role, not a life was lost. For CBS News, John Crane in Eureka, California.